Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 28 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest and we're going to review the concept of slope uh, and finding slope on a graph. So let's start by reading this one over and working through some of the math. For number 28 it says, use the graph below to answer the question that follows. We're given a graph and then it says, which of the following lines, if graphed on the coordinate system above, would be parallel to line AB? Now, this is, uh, we've, we've seen this before, this coordinate plane system. We have our X, X is our input, Y is our output, the vertical axis. And it's, it's asking about this line. And I'm going to highlight these words line because it says it twice. We're dealing with the graph of a line. And whenever we talk about the graph of a line, we're dealing with linear functions. And we can express this in a lot of different ways, but one equation that can express a linear function is this one. y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is our y-intercept. And I'll put a little a mountain there for the slope. Always remember when we're, we're evaluating uh, a line and we're thinking about its slope, you can just really quickly find if the slope is positive or negative by thinking about this mountain image. For example, if I were to take this line and make it a mountain right here, if we're going from low to high, climbing up the mountain, ascending the mountain, and the line was going in this direction, then it would have a positive slope. Any line going from low to high, as you read it from left to right, has a positive slope. Any line that's going from high to low, like line AB here, has a negative slope because we're descending the mountain. So if you see a line that's going from high to low, and you're descending the mountain as you read from left to right, then it's got a negative slope. So right away we can see line AB has a negative slope. If we go to these options here, I'm going to put triangles around the slopes. Now A doesn't have a slope, so we're going we're to cross that one out, okay? Just looking at these ones right here, well, if you look at the triangles, D and C have negative slopes, B has a positive slope. And just looking at this graph, it's going from high to low, it's got a negative slope. Now, now this is the key word that helps with this. Parallel lines, I need you to remember this, have the same slope. So if we're dealing with a parallel line, call it, uh, if this is AB, we'll call this uh, CD. CD is going to have a, the same slope. And we know this is negative, we could cross out B. Because we know it's, it's got to be the same slope, and if this is negative, this has got to be negative. In order to solve this problem, we could eliminate some of these options, but at the end of the day, we still have to figure out what the slope is of A and B, and you've got to remember that whatever that slope is, it's going to be equal to the slope of a parallel line. So it's going to be equal to our line CD. So let's talk about slope. Whenever you think of the slope of a line and they give, it to you, and they give you a graph, think of rise over run. This is the fastest way to find the slope of a line when they give you a graph. And essentially what you're going to be doing is evaluating the rise over run. Now the rise is looking at from this point to this point, how much does it go up? And it's on the y-axis. This is always going to represent the, the change in the y's over the change in the x's. But, but right now, let's just keep it at, at, the, at the rise here, from here to here. Are we going up the mountain or down the mountain? We're going down! So if we're going down, it's going to be negative. I know it says rise, but in your mind, you got to be like descending is negative. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. That's negative 6. So we go down negative 6. And what's our run? 1, 2, 3, 4. Whenever you're going to the right, it's always positive 4. Now we get a slope of negative 6 over 4 which could be turned into negative 6 over 4, and that would reduce to negative 3 over 2. This is our slope here, right? This is our rise to run relationship. And we did that visually using the graph, thinking about slope in terms of rise to run. Now, which one of these has the same slope? Well, it's not A, it's not B. Is it C or D? It's D. D has the same slope. You know, team, there's, there's a lot of strategies that can help you eliminate the answers, but you need to know how to find slope of a line. 
and I want you to practice this rise to run. Find the, the change in the rise or the change in the run so you really get down slope. Team, this is a very core problem. You want to make sure that you can practice slope using rise to run and be able to find the slope of a line. So you can answer secondary questions like this, like which one of these options is parallel to line AB? In order to, to find out which one's correct, you need to be able to find the slope of line AB. So make sure you know that skill, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.